Hello guys and welcome to Starlight Council housing competition. Um, today we got nine houses to visit and the theme for this one is something that reminds you of summer. Um, there will be three rewards. The first place is uh, an Eleanor windmill, second place Eleanor greenhouse and third place will be 100k gold. So I will be traveling around to the nine houses and in the end we will find a winner. So I hope you enjoy the video and may the best summer house win. The first house we're going to visit are Yilid's house. So let's see what the Yilid got for us this time. The last time he chose to trap us all. So that was kinda exciting. We are going to Cyrodelic Jungle House. This is pretty cozy. It's like a backyard kind of relaxing place and a barbecue. This is not bad. The sun is on its way down, so it's perfect to lay here and relax. Very nice. Mm. I'm a bit unsure if this was the house he used when he decided to trap us. No, it's not this one. A lot of Agonian styles uh, has been used here. Very nice. Is there anything in here or is it only the garden? Oh, some kind of storage room in here. Very nice. I love all these cozy kind of beds you can lay in so there might be some kind of backyard restaurant as there's a I guess it's a waiter perhaps the lady serving beer or oh, scuba um, nice place to play some games <laughs> this is awesome very nice and thanks for the visit the next one on the tour will be judo and we are on our way to, to see what's up in his house. And that's also the Cyrodelic Jungle House. Could be funny if, if he made some kind of backyard theme too. Um, oh, that's a totally different one. Like some, like some Eleanor trees. This is kind of more exotic. With the cocoa palms here. 
I like how he used the best up there. Uh, <laughs> Got a little Agonian guy laying here <laughs> with his knives relaxing over here a big wooden hammock. Someone's relaxing here in the water. <laughs> That's pretty cool. And there's a fish here. It's kind of custom made this one. I like that. A lot. The Kajit fire pit. And some shelf over here. And a kind of mini kitchen garden. With all the vegetables and stuff like that. That's pretty cool. It's very nice done. See if there's anything on the inside. I'll try to get everything on the video so you can see it all. This is a pretty good perspective from here. So for now, summer is barbecue. Well nurse and backyard cozy places. This one with a more exotic look. Um, perhaps there's something inside. Yeah, it's a nice room to relax in. So, traveling. Crates, perhaps. A nice bed. A very warm room. Kind of like the backyard out here. That is very nice. So, number three on the list will be Tali's place. And on to Tally's house. Let's see what she has in store. We are going to the Hall of Lunar Champion house. It's always exciting if they have shut some rooms off. Usually people do that because it's too big to furnish all three places. Let's see, this one is, yeah, they'll shut off, we might go here, oh, <laughs> there's a beer for the taking, I'll bring that along, thank you. Let's see what's out here. We got a sun. <laughs> That's awesome. A lot of colorful trees and flowers. 
a nice cozy reading area and a little fawn and some magma geodes up in the trees this might be uh, more trees combined kind of like how she made it into one big tree this must be some kind of altar I guess a little fella here and this must be a burning sun and yeah sun does remind the most people of summer so <laughs> I can totally get this place Got a little one here. Uh -huh. I hope you guys get a good view. I do believe this is it. I'm not, I don't think we're supposed to go back here. Nope, we're not. So let's just stay here. All right. This is one nice perspective. So let's edit here and travel on to Happy Dad Gamer's house. So I was told this was a summer shed. Which is a <laughs> a big shed if it's the position villa with all his furniture thrown in. So I'm not really sure what I'm about to see now. <laughs> if it's just one big chaos of items or whatever we are going to look at. We'll see now. Oh, there's some sort of order in here. That's not just thrown it. It's a nice shed, though. Got a little welcome committee here. This blends in very nice with the water. We got a big fella up here. Some mounts showing off. This might be the place for Strom to go. Let's go and see. And all the target practice dummies. It's a lot of showing off all the awesome items. I'm not sh uh, completely sure about um, if I can analyze what the summer vibe is. Perhaps the big bonfire up here. That does remind me of summer a lot. just like those bonfires a lot when I do housing because they're so intense so you can use them for a lot of purposes 
for example, fire in a dragon's mouth or or the smoke you can use for some specific details too. Some astronauts, centurions. Do we have something down behind here? Nope. Uh, let's see what we got inside. A lot of busts, oh. some vampiric elements. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of music boxes and cake. A lot of warm fire. We got something on the. Balconies. Got some transmute crafting area. Big pile of gold. I tend to spend that in the summer. Um wasn't really sure if there was anything over here. Some more busts. Kind of a big treasure room we got here. And some storage. Sure, if there's anything on these small places. Oh, this is kind of creepy. Mm. Some more gold. Very nice, and the bangers. Checking up if everything's here. Some web. Got down here. That's the new comet. A lot of flags. I actually made a treasure room in this part in my Pacific driller once, and then removed it as I destroyed everything I built in there because it, this house is for me just too big um, to decorate unless you cut some roofs off some rooms off um, some paintings storage a little bit I'm not sure if this was um, a part of the thing, but um, now we got to see this nice, huge showroom. Um, so let's end it out here and go to Tesla's house. And yet again, Tesla would like to join in. So I'll group up with Tesla and we'll travel to her house. <laughs> Just not gonna talk. We got that on the video. <laughs> That's all right. Then I will be do the talking. Hall of the Lunar Champion. Alright. Here we are. A lot of rooms shut off again. Save. 
nice way to do it with all these platforms. Some nice paintings, a little Isabi cat. I will walk a bit slowly, Tesla, so people will get everything on the video. Look this. Uh, and I'll enter the portal now, so I'll be there in a second. I'm watching it. Ah, <laughs> summer time. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's so hard to place items uh, like this so you can see it from different angles. I did it in the, the, the guild house where I made this big S and big C for Starlight Council. So you have to sit in the chair, otherwise it's just some beams up in the air that makes no sense so but this is pretty cool I like it a lot you kind of made it exotic here too with these palms oh and there's some stairs here I would have missed that. Down here. Oh, here we go. This is kind of like a wooden cabin tree house thing with the ladder. Five. we got here oh that's a ah <laughs> treehouse bikini I was kind of like is that a cocktail glass a martini it's kind of funny because I was thinking about doing the exact same thing I was just kind of looking for items to make this kind of cone form so you managed to do it better than me, because I chose not to do it, and then do something else. However, um, it's kind of in the same league. My build. <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> awesome. Shortcut. Little nice place here to rest. With a great view. Some bonfire. Some dried fish, perhaps. And a nice magma geode bowl. Little. Oh, that's the martini, right? Yeah, <laughs> very colorful drink and a nice hammock. Yeah, this is, uh, I was actually just talking to Casper. Uh, I showed him mine like an hour ago and I said to him, um, I can't count how many times I fell down because mine is is tall too um, and sometimes when I build it I kind of use the same structures these platforms that you got here um, but I tend sometimes to put sides on them because uh, when you're building very very high kind of like when I made my dragon when you die and it will, uh, when you fall down it's instant death so um, it's good to have something to yeah you just die and oh yeah, down here you die. There's a lot of fish. Yeah, so um, 
but I decided this time not to put sides on like you haven't here so um because I was like I've done it a lot of time I won't fall but yeah I think I fall like 20 25 times so um I just don't think you stop falling to be fair <laughs> well I don't at least Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, I love this. Do I jump? I do. Boop. I like your drink over here. Tesla, I really do. Stuck in the martini. Oh, I'm up. This is very nice, Tesla. A lovely tree house and some awesome cozy rest places. And I love the martini. <laughs> so, are you or am I going to jump in the water? I'll take the jump. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you. I'll do a backflip. <whistles> yep, I'm dying. Well, if this was it, then thanks a lot, Tesla. I'll be moving on to the next house. Um, which will be Sun Spirit Singer. Yeah, thanks for joining in once again. You've done a great job here. Um, if you want to join the tour, uh, just let me know. I'll catch you later. Um, well, I'm off, Tesla. Thanks for letting me take a look. And on to the next house, number six, which is Sun Spirit Singer. Uh, let's see what we got there. And this time we are traveling to Mornoth Keep. That's a new one. Hmm. Right. Also cozy. Some nice live flames. I kinda got a feeling that I'm going up here. So I might be wrong but this kind of looked like some Tivoli uh, wheel that spins around and you can sit on these booths um, I can't really remember the name of it on in English though um, so I'll call it the Tivoli thing but it's pretty cool A lot of light going on here. <laughs> These kind of look like uh, Baby Yoda's um, <laughs> the edition of Baby Yoda's uh, car. I don't know if any of you have seen um, the series of the Mandalorian. Um, it's pretty cute, pretty nice. I do love Chile and all these uh, markets in the summer where you can try out all these things and get a little drunk. Some scuttle looms. I better get it back up. 
wind pills. I think it's. I think it's a good thing that we came here um, at this time of day because uh, I think the darkness does give it some extra with all these lights around here. This is very nice. Um, and I'm not sure if there's more. I'll just take a fast peek up here and see if this is part of it. It might not be. Nope. Let's see if there's anything inside. No. Crystal flying in the air. Nope. I'm not supposed to be in here. I can light this one on. Ah. Uh, and I'm gonna get out of here again. So I will go out and take one last peek. And then I'll head off and visit Mephistopheles' house. One last peek and off we go. Alright, so I have just been traveling to Mev's house and I can see she hasn't changed it from the guild house yet. Um, so we'll put that back in the line and then we'll take Elkir's first. Let's go visit that one. See what she has made. And we are going to the Antiquarian's Alpine Gallery this time. It's got a nice backyard. Perhaps she has done something there. What a big waterfall. Got a long loading time here. Oh, and we are here. So, a big garden. I see. Um, I love this place at night time because sometimes there's this Nordic light up here in the back it's not here at the moment um, a big deal Got it. we got a historian here Reading all his books, trying to figure out where the fuck am I going? Uh, this, no, 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 that, this, the way, no, ah, uh, yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. A lot of trees. We got a moss intrigue here. There's a lot of you who went with the cozy backyard garden theme. Might be a lot of you who enjoys your gardens in the summertime. And a nice little fishing spot. I can relate to that. And especially with the roam. Awesome. We got over here a lot of trees, plants. Is there something jumping in the water here? Oh, <laughs> it's kind of cute. Walking around here, splashing at feet, 
and the water. Let's go back here. Some cozy lights. Drinking some more rum over here with a little sweet row. What's that? Just a rock or yeah. We got two moons. That's new thing. Oh, <laughs> I kind of forgot because in my house, you can walk over here because I made a bridge. So I just kind of forgot that it's not a re regular thing. I'll take the jump. Boop, swim, swim, swim. And now I might get stuck behind the wall. Get it, get it. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. So, a very cozy summer night back yard. Um, I'm not sure if there's anything inside. Don't think that's a part of the sign up, but while we're here, let's just take a little look. Some shelves, paintings. Look like the historian <laughs> has been here. A little alchemist area here. And some food. Uh, there perhaps a sleeping area up here. There is and up here. It's also a bit of starch. Alright, so I think the backyard is kind of the the place we need to be. So I will run over here and get the last view of place back here and then we will travel along and we will go and visit mine. Okay, and we will be going up to my Grand Tobal Hideaway. So I kind of had a lot of ideas um, for what I wanted to build, but somehow they all ended up to be quite big and I didn't really have the time um, these two weeks to do it. So I ended up <laughs> in kind of the same street alley as Tesla's martini drink. I just went with a giant ass beer bottle. Um, yeah. So this is mine, and it's made out of crystals. I'm not really sure if I like it or not. I'm pretty sure though I'm going to tear it all down when this is over. Um, the funny part about this is, since it's crystal, when you get closer it starts to light up and it kind of looks like a giant ass Christmas tree so now it's a lighting beer bottle um, the funny thing is though um, when I finished it I kind of removed this and I went inside and it kind of looks pretty awesome here in the dark. So, so it's 
kind of the inside of a Christmas tree. I might use this when we get to Christmas time. Um, but um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I think of it. But um, this is my beer bottle. And um, yeah, that's about it. So I will see if I can get a hold on Mev to visit her house. Uh, otherwise, this will be the last one. Um, this won't be uh, in the competitions as it wouldn't fair to declare myself a winner if that was the case. So this was just for the fun of it. Um, and I will get back to whoever won the prize when I have been visited Mef's house. And yet again, thanks a lot for participating, every one of you. Um, it's nice to see that some of those who didn't join in last time uh, joined in this time. So um, I hope to see you again next time when we do something else. So thanks a lot. And um, if I get a hold on Mef very soon, she will be tossed in after this one. Otherwise, um, she won't be participating. So thanks a lot.